Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers, board certified criminal defense lawyer. Welcome to another episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. First, I want to thank all of our subscribers. We hit over 200,000 and still going strong. I uh, want to tell every one of our subscribers, pop over to Instagram and follow us on Instagram. We uh, uh, will make announcements, and that's a good place uh, to interact. So I want to just talk to you a little bit today about my story. We're not doing a reaction to any videos in this particular episode. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. I've had a lot of requests in the comments to kind of share how I became a lawyer and what my story is. And so I want to respond to those um, comments. First, my story as a lawyer, I came uh, into this profession a little differently than most people. Um, a lot of people, they don't know what they want to do. They don't want to be a doctor. They just kind of go into law school and it's kind of a natural progression. And that wasn't my story. First of all, I wasn't that great of a student in high school. Um, I was uh, very much a BC student. I slept basically my whole high school career, basically. Um, but I wound up going to Augsburg College. And while I was in college, I drove an ambulance. I worked for my father. And one day, uh, while I'm dispatching uh, the other ambulances, all of a sudden the cops came in and they executed a search warrant by the attorney general's office. And that was a really scary thing. And watching my father, who was a six foot two, big burly fireman who had a business on the side, an ambulance company, uh, be completely subservient to these cops was really um, something. They took all of his business records and he wound up going to prison uh, for 18 months for fraud, for Medicare and Medicaid fraud. His lawyer at the time was an absolute piece of human garbage. Uh, they saw how much money he had, and they just took it, basically. And they had one of the lawyers that he had with him had never even tried a criminal case. They were totally unqualified. And I know the lawyer that tried his case, and he, he is awful, just awful. And so through that experience, I saw how horribly my father was treated. Uh, the day before he was supposed to turn himself in uh, to prison, after a jury trial, um, he attempted to take his life with a 38 revolver. When uh, he, he went up to, we had a dinner, he went up to his room, we followed him up there. I wrestled the gun out of his hand while my brother and my brother-in-law tackled him. It was a really ugly scene, and he almost did it. But he did not do it, thankfully. It was based on that experience, watching how my father was treated by the system and I watch how my father was treated by his own fucking lawyers. Uh, that changed what I wanted to do. I was going to get my MBA after I got done with my business degree and run his company. But instead, I decided to become a criminal defense lawyer. I started doing some work for his... Uh, for his appellate lawyer, who got some things reversed on appeal, uh, but by then it was a little late. It's like putting toothpaste back in the tube. And I put myself through law school. I really can't tell you how rewarding it is to uh, be a criminal defense lawyer. So when I was going through uh, my undergrad, um, my father was in prison, and I didn't get the best grades. And I was, uh, and I didn't have that much direction, and I didn't have that much support, because like in some of the other videos I've talked about, the lack of having a father around really has an impact on a young man. And so I wound up graduating with a 2.74 GPA, which is like a between a C and a C plus and B minus, basically. And uh, and I tried to get into law school, and I didn't get in my first time. I didn't get in my second time. But I did get in my third time. And I took the uh, there's a law school admission test. I took that. And, and I think what has been the hallmark of my success hasn't been that I am just had have, have this superior intellect. It's because I have a drive. I, I have a perseverance that I just keep at it, keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. 
and I knew what I wanted, and I went after it, and I got it. So I went to law school, and I loved law school. And my father was out of prison by then, and I was able to get good grades in law school and started my own law firm right out of law school. Um, my very first trial was a blind stalker, if you can believe that. Um, and it was, and when I sit there and I have a defendant next to me, a client, and one minute that client is looking at 25 years plus in prison, and the next he walks free because of the work that I did, there is no greater reward for me than that. Uh, I started my own law firm right out of law school. I love what I do. But I didn't start my own law firm and practice on my own right away without help from somebody else. And I try to look for help from other people, no matter where I am or what I'm doing. I'm not so proud that I know everything, because you can learn from anybody. Um, I have a mentor to this day, and he's a phenomenal lawyer, a phenomenal husband, a phenomenal uh, father figure. And it's somebody that I look up to that helped guide me in how I've kind of conducted myself over the last 25 years. Uh, I don't take an attitude with opponents. I don't swear at opponents. Um, I live to fight another day. I'm prepared when I go to trial, and I really love what I do, and I don't ever miss the notion that the person that I'm sitting next to, the client that I'm sitting next to, isn't just a number. It isn't just uh, another case. It's a human being, and the person sitting next to me needs to be cared for. And what I do throughout the case, throughout every case I have, directly impacts that person. You've seen in the movies, I'm sure, where uh, somebody falls asleep at trial or, you know, they just go through the motions. There's too many people out there like that. I don't do that. I love what I do. I love being somebody's um, answer to a problem. So my advice to each and every one of you is go after your dreams, whatever those dreams are. If it's criminal defense, go after it. Make your life your life. Don't let your life happen to you. You make your life happen. You know, you don't get everything overnight. I certainly didn't get my my practice and all the trappings that come with it. Have I done well financially? Of course I have. Um, but you know what? That's been able. I've been able to put my son through school. I've been able to uh, do a lot of things I wouldn't have been able to do had I taken the first no for an answer. And the first no came in the form of bad grades when I was in uh, my undergrad. And the first no came in a rejection from a law school for the first time. But did I pass the bar the first time? You're damn right I did. And you know why? Because I went after it. So my point in telling you all this is to give you some kind of insight as to where my heart is. And the whole reason behind the Reaction Channel, um, sure, is it visibility, a little bit of marketing? Yeah, maybe a little bit. But it's also to impart a message. And that message is um, think about your life. Think about where you want to go. You are in charge of what foot you put out the door and where you put it. So the idea that you can be whatever you want to be, it sounds like such a hokey dream, but it's fucking true. You make what you want out of your life. And I did. I have no regrets. I have absolutely no regrets in the path that I took. It was a hard path. Sure, would I have, would I have done better if I had better grades? Yeah. Would I have done better if I had a father that didn't go to prison? Sure. But those setbacks create a fabric of toughness, of perseverance, of I, I wouldn't be the same person without it. And I think I have a gratitude for what I've achieved and for what has been in my uh, wheelhouse uh, in my life as a result. So I'm very grateful to have everything that I have 
to have the family that I have, to have the career that I have, and to be able to be in a position to affect change in people and people's lives. You know, when, when, I was, when I was in my undergrad and I drove an ambulance, I loved that job because I would help people. And there was a time while I was trying to get into law school where I had a business job, where I was a sales guy. I fucking hated it. I hated it. And why did I hate it? It wasn't because it was a bad job or, or it wasn't uh, good work or anything, but it just wasn't helping people. And that's what I love about being a criminal defense lawyer. One minute you're sitting there, um, you've worked your ass off on this case, you've made your closing argument uh, to the jury, you've questioned all the witnesses, and you're sitting there with your client, and you're waiting for that verdict. Your palms are sweaty. And if it's the wrong answer, your client's going to prison for 25 years. And your client knows you did a good job. I don't think I've ever had a case, even where my client was convicted, where they looked at me and were upset with the job that I did because they know I put everything into it. But you're sitting there, the jury comes back, and you're just quiet, and your, your palms are sweaty, and your client is sitting there, and you get the words, not guilty. That means your client can go back to his home. That means your client can go about his business and lead his life uninterrupted. There is no greater reward than that. And that is why I do what I do. I just can't tell you the feeling that I have. There's just no greater high. It's just it's just the best. So this has just been a few of my thoughts. You know, I wanted you to know kind of who I am as a person, where I've come from, um, and the struggles that I've gone through, um, which don't compare to a lot of people's struggles, but there were real struggles nonetheless. And um, I have a mission, and that's why I do what I do. So, again, this is Bruce Rivers, Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Just a few thoughts that I thought I'd like to share with you guys. So make sure, if you're a subscriber, pop over and follow us on Instagram because I'll be doing a George Floyd uh, update uh, live um, once a week, and um, we'll talk to you soon.